Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Out Forex. So let's go straight to our daily, daily, daily analysis. It's Wednesday, it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday. Yeah, uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like share with your friends, guys. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. So, what's really happening actually? Yeah, uh, it's those days, you know. Sorry, the day before high impact news. There is high impact news tomorrow, which is called Core CPI, which is going to actually help us to understand uh, the consumer prices or the inflation. If it's going up, just listen here. If that is going to go up, let's say if CPI, let me take this. Uh, just for, for those who don't really understand, uh, Core CPI, I'll just say CPI. It's fine. Uh, it's Core CPI. Mostly they look at this uh, uh, event. If if on th uh, on your investing.com or maybe on a Forex Factory, you're going to see a positive number, which means the number it will be going up. That will mean that the prices last month actually uh, pushed up, which means the dollar, it will get stronger, right? And which means anything which is against this dollar, whether it's euro, whatever, they're going to suffer. So, for example, if it's NASDAQ, uh, let's say NAS 100 uh, USD, if, 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 if the dollar is going to be stronger, we know very well that NAS is going to suffer. Then we're going to see the market going down. We're going to see some sell-offs. But what if maybe uh, CPI goes down? It means prices are starting to do what? Actually, let's say last month, the prices will be actually going down, which means the number will be on a negative or a, a bit smaller number than what we saw last month. If maybe they say negative four or something like that, or maybe smaller number, then we know that this won't look good uh, for for the dollar, so which means the dollar will suffer that. So at the same time, we're gonna see what we're gonna see the dollar. Sorry, the the, the Nasdaq US that is trying to to get some momentum. We will see them pushing up, or any other pair which is going to be against or which is against the dollar. I hope you understand that. I hope you understand that. So now. Uh, actually, don't be surprised when you see the market actually consolidating. It uh, It's because we know very well that we're expecting high impact news. So no one is going to just to uh, trade unnecessarily while they know that they, they we're expecting some news. You see, that's why at the end of the day, we're going to see the market consolidate. You see, yes, if you have the robot, uh, we have the robot, by the way. Our robot understand the consolidation moves. It won't open anything. So for those who want the robot, guys, it's only $150. A very, very disciplined uh, robot. Uh, we've been testing that for some time uh, for a meta trade 5. So, and you also get the support. Only $150. Uh, the robot doesn't really actually expire. So it means actually, but this number, uh, th that price is going to go up, guys. That $150 is going to go up. Uh, there is a number that I actually want uh, that I won't say. Then after, we're going to go straight to 250 Then we're going to stay there maybe up to year end. Then uh, around December, January, maybe we'll have some extra updates and stuff like that. Then the prices are going up, you see. So why? Because we we, we, we trust our, our, our work. So I trust my job, guys. So for if you want something which is ten dollars, uh, that's go. Maybe you will get it somewhere, not here. So what do we uh, see here? We are on Bitcoin, uh, by the way. Bitcoin has been just playing around for some time. I hope maybe you see uh, that it's been going down for quite some time now. But we are here, and we thought maybe the market was going to break out or maybe push lower. So since we have a CPI, we're going to talk about that because the market is also looking at that. So which means the market won't actually give us some very nice moves. You can see that or the market is actually doing what? Consolidating. 
consolidating. The market is just consolidating, consolidating. And we have these small, big moves, but they happen after quite some time. So it means even, even if maybe you plug the robot, our robot, it wasn't going to take any trade. Only when the market starts to move, it's where it's, it's, it was going to uh, follow uh, to do the trades. And remember, it follows the trend. So what's happening here is the market is actually consolidating. We are on a wait. We're just waiting for a breakout before maybe we see something pushing up or down. For Yeah, yeah. I hope you see that. I hope you see that. We're just waiting for a breakout. We're just waiting for a breakout. I think my flu is getting... Uh, it's fading very slow and um, getting better and better every second. So, yeah, now we are on, 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 on German, German, German 40 or DAX. The robot can also trade DAX, guys, for those who don't know. Yes, um, what's really happening here is the market is actually on a downtrend. The market is actually on a downtrend. Yes, a few days ago, the market gave us some very nice structures, but it seems like the market will just continue uh, with that sell. So let's try to go closer there and try to see what's really happening. Let's use two hours and see. Uh, two hours. On two hours, you can easily see that, you know what? The market was giving us some very nice moves which we thought maybe the market was going to respect and the market did respect that unfortunately but that was a counter trend that was just a continuation of the that downtrend we saw a breakout very nice breakout and then we thought maybe oh the market is it's about to push the upside guess what now the market is coming back again so it seems like the market is creating a sort of uh, a support area guys don't just try to understand everything the market is trying to do there because you will end up getting confused. Sometimes the market will just move, uh, just consolidate. And if you just want to know everything that is happening uh, with the structure, sometimes you won't understand. So sometimes it's much better just to relax and say, you know what, let me just relax because whatever that is happening here, it's because... Uh, of the news so uh, we expecting the news tomorrow then after that we're gonna relax the market is going to give us some very nice structures so this is what we have currently the market might respect this counter trend a downtrend like that the market is can respect that or maybe the market has the option to respect this horizontal one there but the best thing is to do what is to relax if you come in our group you will see that yes we had some very 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 few very 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 few trades because Things were not actually the way we want them uh, or the structures were not as good as we want. Remember, when we are on a downtrend, we're expecting to sell. But the market was giving us some crazy moves or maybe the market was on a support area and you can't sell on a support area unless if it's broken. So that's why uh, we end up saying, you know what, let's just hit and run. It means once you get into profit, don't play around that uh, zone. You can just get out as as soon as possible so now we are on gold we are on gold uh, i'm just trying to be fast because uh, we have so uh, these things called load shading so if maybe the power goes off i'll be done with the analysis so what's really happening is uh, we are on gold and the market is doing what the market is actually on a very nice downtrend the market gave us a very nice breakout and now the market is coming back so sometimes this type of moves they can actually confuse uh, because uh, one minute you think maybe the market is going it's changing the direction then two minutes later the market is go is coming back again so it means we just need to adjust our trends line and say you know what it means maybe the market was just adjusting uh, whatever uh, that the trend but is still continuing with that trend we just need to work that around and try to find something let's try to find something let's try to find something because that is still actually a downtrend so can we find something that we can say we can rely on or yeah for now we can just say let's rely on this resistant we are still on a downtrend uh, we know that but we don't actually have a very nice uh, trend currently but if we go on a bigger time frame, we might find something. Uh, we might find something just because someone can say, Kenzo, just throw that. Man. Just throw that. We need to see that. We can say, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay. I don't know if this will make sense. Uh, na, na, na. Okay, uh, let's put it here. 
it's fine if you want to push it back you can do that uh, but i just want to make sure that i don't force this trend at the same time uh, it still makes sense so yeah i think that can make sense but i think i did force that little bit but this is the market obviously it won't be perfect so yeah uh, as long as now we see that we are still on that downtrend what we can do is we can just reduce some of this line just to make our chart clearer uh, we, just to make our chart clear so what we have currently is uh, we have an area that the market actually broke out you see this area it's an area where we can call it was a resistant or maybe it was a support so you can see going back there so for us to say maybe we need to jump on that cell the market has to break that first before we say nope now we're taking that cell but it seems like actually the market they have been just consolidating even yesterday actually this week the market has been consolidating it's not surprising as i'm going to repeat we expect in CPI. So that is the biggest news, actually. Everyone is waiting for that. I'm also waiting for that. So that's why we see the market just playing around. So don't expect unnecessary trades or signals, guys, because the market is just playing around. That's why we don't see moves like this. We don't see those type of moves because we're expecting something. So it means we don't really have enough liquidity in the market. So Let's see. Let's see. Let's push to the next one. I don't really want to make this video very long. What's really happening? Uh, we have a very nice structure. It's US oil. Uh, what's happening here is, yes, the market has been on this downtrend for quite some time now. And then the market actually tried to break that area. So which means we, we can call that a, a fake breakout or maybe, I don't know, let's try to adjust that and see if maybe we can get something yeah i think it can make sense i think that will make sense uh we just need to adjust our things uh we don't have to be afraid to be wrong uh, we can be wrong most of the time but still be profitable yeah i think that is something like that uh it's something like that actually after this breakout here we're supposed to be in that trade we're supposed to be around this area but it's fine because we saw that actually late uh, but still we have an entry around this area i think it's already triggered so but i'm still expecting the market to push the lower side yes there is a chance that the market can still bounce back or whatever but at the end of the day it seems like the market is still going to continue with that downtrend that's what i'm expecting so let's push to the next one uh, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends so uh um i'm 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 i'm, I'm expecting uh, the market to maybe consolidate a little bit you can see the market has been consolidating guys the market has been consolidating uh, yesterday we had some nice trades hit and run at, but i think the market still pushed lower uh, which is fine because the market has been consolidating so what's really happening on us data is yes the market is still on that downtrend the market is still downtrending even though the market reached an area that is very important we can call that a support area so now that area is pushing the market to the upside but that doesn't really mean uh, the market is changing the trend the market will start to change the trend if we see a breakout of this resistance and we can say okay maybe the, now the market is about to do what to push to the upside do you see that so currently we can then zoom a little bit closer and say okay let's try to see what's really happening and say okay if it's like that it seems like the market is a bit confusing here and it's normal it has to it has to confuse uh, because we reached in a zone here this zone should be thick like this so we reached that zone where the market is finding its support area but around this area you can see the market is being consolidating so maybe by tomorrow things will change we don't know but on us state yesterday i did send the us state signal and obviously they did it even though later on the market did try to push to the lower side so what do we see that what do we expect from the market i'm still actually expecting the market uh, to push a little bit up 
and then that might actually change tomorrow as we're gonna have cpi so if cpi is gonna be positive we know very well that the market is gonna suffer so there might be a chance for the market to reach this area before pushing down or maybe the market might uh, still keep pushing up so i think maybe today uh, today maybe we might have some actually live sessions uh, but hey, that thing actually to take a lot of my time and actually I don't even uh, trade much, especially when we start to go live, you see. So, yeah, uh, I'm still expecting the market to push a little bit up, even though we are still on a downtrend uh, because we are on the support area. Maybe after that, the market is then that the market can start to push lower. So let's push to the next one. Uh the next one, uh, it's actually Nasdaq. Please, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. What's really happening? I think our robot just bought something. I think our robot bought something. Yes. Let me try to show you that. Uh, because people maybe, they might think, okay, the robot bought something and the robot already locked. You can see I'm in 104. You can see that. I'm on a hundred and something and the robot already logged the profit so i hope you see that so it's not like something that i'm trying to do i can see also the laptop there uh, everything just locked everything's just locked on that laptop or on that lo laptop so yeah i think i think it's great i think it's great the robot is doing some very nice uh, job guys the robot is doing yeah on top there you can see the robot is on even here on algo trading everything is on so i just need to minimize that and for those who want the robot uh, then they can just tell me so yeah uh, that's fine that's fine so let's go back on on this nasdaq thing so what's really happening here is uh, the market is actually doing what the market is actually going down this is a downtrend a very very nice downtrend so but we reach an area actually this should be thick this should be thick uh, you see you see when you have the robot sometimes your emotions do not really kick in like now and then so which means i mean you you just enjoy trading especially when you have the robot that works the way you want to see so what's really happening is yes the market is still on that downtrend i'm still expecting maybe the market to push a little bit up before maybe pushing down as as per, per structure but the bigger picture is we are still on a downtrend but yes we can expect maybe some more reversals before pushing down but tomorrow is going to be the decider maybe the market will break this support we don't know and then push to the lower side we don't know maybe that might happen also so yeah uh i think maybe guys i think uh, i think for now it's, it's enough so for those who want the robot it's only 150 that price is gonna change you so the robot is doing some very nice stuff and there is no martingale there's no uh hedging there's nothing like that so it's just pure trading pure technical trading so if you want that let me know let me know let me know so thank you very much this is kenzo extra out forex so don't forget to smash that subscribe button, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye.